been to New York, so I'm just really excited to see what it looks like. I think it's very exciting how we can go somewhere outside of our normal school environment. Shopping. I really want to go shopping. <laughs> um, I'm most excited to just experience the city, especially with a group of people that I have enjoyed working with. I don't know, booking interviews, making our itinerary, deciding what food we want to eat. I'm hoping that I can learn something from the interview that we're going to have. Something more about media, something interesting, you know, I've never um, really been to New York. For our history project, we were required to find a building or location of New York City that was deeply embedded in our country's history. We decided to make our documentary on the High Line, a 1.5 mile long elevated railway previously part of the New York City Central Railroad. Used to transport goods to and from Manhattan's largest industrial district beginning in 1934, the railroad was shut down in 1980. Almost 20 years later, in 1999, Efforts were made to preserve the railroad and turn it into a walkable path, complete with greenery and seating. When we first dropped our bags on apartment floors Go through the violence Until it all makes sense Still got so many questions For our first interview, we chose to talk to Sudi Green a writer for NBC's hit show, Saturday Night Live, an American late night live television show. We toured multiple NBC production studios, including The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Saturday Night Live, Megyn Kelly Today, and Late Night with Seth Meyers. SNL shows comedy sketches, which parody contemporary culture and politics, are performed by a large and varying cast. Each episode is hosted by a celebrity guest who usually delivers an opening monologue and performs in sketches with the cast as which features performances by a musical guest. An episode normally begins with a cold open sketch that ends with someone breaking character and proclaiming And live from New York, it's Saturday Night! interview we chose Viacom, an American multinational media corporation focused primarily in cinema and cable television. The fourth largest broadcasting network in the world, Viacom has audiences in more than 180 countries on various platforms and devices. To help us explore our passion and interest in producing media, we were able to interview three interns who worked in Viacom's exploration room where they experiment with different projects that they engineer. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so excited. We went to Forever 21 and we only had 21 minutes to look at four stories. And then that time we went to CBS and <laughs> Rebecca left her phone. <laughs> Where Mr. Dempsey fell asleep on the subway and then after that we told him about it, he was like, shh, don't tell the administration. A beautiful day and out on the water seeing the sights in New York. Being able to tour the professional TV sets in real life was honestly such a cool experience. <laughs> Spending time with my friends and making New York City ours for a week. Spending time with you guys because we had so many great moments. Like when we could go to Chipotle because they're out of rice. Even though it's a Chipotle, you need to have your rice. Okay, so Friday was Shoshana's birthday. I woke up in the morning. There were balloons all over our room. On the last night in New York, we all went to Panera Bread. And we sat in a circle and we held hands and we all just complimented each other and told each other what we loved about each other and how glad we were to be in a group together. Okay, we're done!